It's my first time seeing this, alright? So, holy f Guys, this is Riz from the North Face Rally, bringing you guys so much content over and over and over again. And car season just started, so we're gonna be bringing in so much more. Look what I found. Bobby, where did you find a fender? Yo, yo, it came off that smash car. The one that just got smashed. Why are you so happy about that? I would be crying about it. Because the owner, when well, we walked, the owner so positive about it. He's like, yo, wherever there's a problem, there's a solution. And he said, I get to take it as a souvenir after. You know what I'm thinking? I was thinking of making it into a chain. Oh, the boss. The gangster, right? Yeah. Okay, should I give you my AMG hat to go with it? Uh, but you don't have an AMG though. I yours got the hat a, though. Here's a, your has, yours is a 554 Manic, it's not an AMG. Oh, I still got the hat though. Wait, 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 I even got the key that says AMG. Yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, CLS is very important to me and I love this car, I've always loved this car. So this is my beautiful CLS 550. So, tell me a little bit. Is it a CLS 63, CLS 550? CLS 550, V8. It's about to go in for a beautiful tune. And tire connection hooking me up with some nice with rims. Some nice rims. Yep. So, why don't we show you a little something something that happened? It's my first time seeing this, right? So, holy. Bro, how does somebody end up doing this? That is insane, man. This car, bro. Oh, I remember no, this car. Look at the quarter panel. Oh, it's all bent. Bent on the body. Bro, that's a C. Uh, that's a CLS 63, guys. This car is a beast. Bro, so you, you know what? So now that you guys have seen the damage of this car, why don't we find out what it costs to repair something like this, man? All right, so let's uh, tell you a little story about this here CLS. So obviously a customer took it. Uh, credit card, ID, everything checked out straight. There was no issues with it. Uh, all of a sudden, the owner of the our, our sponsor uh, gets a call at 2.30 in the morning saying, hey, like uh, we found your car. Uh, it's abandoned at a gas station. So obviously first reaction is like, oh my God, man, like what happened, right? You go there and you see this. Yeah, I thought what they thought they said. The rims are Let me, you have any of that fucking guys with it? Yeah, because he swipes something. I don't know. Do you know the guy? Okay, let me find out. So all that happens. Customer throws the keys away because supposedly he was caught on tape, he was intoxicated. So he didn't want to be involved with all that. So he threw the keys. Like why? So imagine, so now we're gonna do a breakdown and see what it costs to repair this. Just for the keys now, they have to get new keys made. Just... New, uh, oh yeah, yeah. new keys. Then they had to pay storage because the car wasn't able to be pulled out of a, a storage lot. Like, like what, three, four thousand dollars? Two thousand for a key, two months of storage, another two, three thousand dollars. And imagine, like this car right now, what does it need? It needs Bro, a not door. Just that. So this car was wrapped. Yeah. So that's gonna be a whole new wrap. Yeah, this is, I'm, uh, so what I'm saying is it needs a door, a door, quarter panel needs to get repaired, front fender, front headlight, front bumper, and just, just body work in general. And then after that, it has to get repainted that stock color. Then it has to get rewrapped. It, it, it's, it's, it's hurting my brain. Just thinking about what something like this would cost. But you know what, it's okay. When you go to sleep tonight, I might take parts off your car. What car? 
this little thing over here. It's the exact same thing though. Exact same thing, just uh, detuned. Here's the detune. So, this total invoice is blowing my mind. It's not a Lamborghini, it's not a Ferrari, but it still hits your heart. You guys probably remember a little while back when we went to uh, the Ferrari Pista and Billing event and a Ferrari bag was $11,000. This is insane. The cost of these cars are just crazy. So let me show you a little something. Front bumper, like almost $2,000. The headlight, just one headlight, $3,333. Each door is $2,500. You wanna see the total? Bro, the total is insane. Wait, before you do, you're not ready for this. Just know, this is gonna hurt. Bad. Yep. Eighteen thousand two hundred and eighty-three dollars and seventy-five cents. But but you gotta remember one thing. No no no. Uh, so you gotta remember. You gotta add total costs. So getting the car towed, paying the storage fees, paying for repaint, paying for the uh, the, the just the installation. You already talked about programming the key. Programming the key. Yeah. Yeah. But so think about it. When you gotta rewrap re this car, like so it's almost. This is gonna run the um, about thirty grand, man. Close to thirty thousand. Yeah. I'd that's, say I'd say tip in tip in close to thirty thousand. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. And the worst part about it is customer canceled his credit card. Like can't uh, disconnect his phone. Can't get a hold of him. That's just disrespectful. It's it, it's very common in the industry. People don't respect. Uh, Services and that are rendered, you know what I mean? Like, like a, a situation like this. Imagine how a owner of the company feels when he's like, what, like, oh, the guy came in, customer came in. Oh, hey, man, I'm, a, uh, uh, I've, I've been watching you guys. I really want to rent a car from you. Two days later, this happens. Like, wh like, what do you mean? Is that definitely a sad, sad thing? It is a sad for, thing for cars like these. Uh, this company specifically, they take care of their cars. All the cars are well detailed at all times. Some cars are tuned. So you actually get to experience the power behind a car like this. Yeah, and, and you know what? It's very, it's very sad to see stuff like this because it dis it disencourages companies from buying new new rentals that people can experience, right? And just it sucks, but it is what it is, right? So, gotta get these parts should be here in about a week, week or week or so, and then uh, put it back together and see what see what happens. So just to touch base on what I was saying a little bit earlier, uh, it. It really hurts the industry because a lot of customers, when you want to go and buy a car, you want to go buy a Lamborghini Gallardo or uh, let, Gallardos are discontinued. Let's say Huracan. You want to buy a Huracan and uh, you go to the dealership. They're like, hey, do you want to test drive it? Yeah, what do you get? 10, 15 minutes on a test drive. You don't really get to do much with it. Don't get to take it to a restaurant or take, pick up your wife, pick up your kids, girlfriend or both. <laughs> and you know what? It, it ruins the experience because uh, when, when, this, when this type of scenario happens to a rental company, they're disencouraged from buying new cars because they don't want that happening to a, a, a uh, exotic car so this is obviously a luxury car but it it does hit home it's 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 on the borderline of being a supercar so imagine when when a rental company stops doing that and there's people out there who are like I want to test drive this car but I, I don't want it for 20 minutes I want to rent it for a weekend and I want to see how it is to see if it's feasible for them see if it's practical enough that they can they can afford it or they could drive it they, they like it that's all it is at the end of the day but when stuff like this happens it just ruins it for everybody because not just one person's looking for a Huracan there's 10 people looking for a Huracan all of a sudden the rental company doesn't have a Huracan anymore it is what it is but you know what uh, that's just the way it goes and rental companies really have to deal with a lot of this this stuff and it just it it sucks for them all right so guys a lot of you are probably wondering why is this such a big deal that you know what a car gets in an accident we usually just call our insurance and Bam, it's taken care of. Insurance covers it. But you know what? This Sometimes that's not the case because you got to remember when you have a vehicle that's worth a lot of money, per se, it, it hurts the value of the vehicle. Like, let's say one day you want to sell off the car, right? And get a new rental. Or the company wants to exchange it for a different vehicle. If you put a $30,000 claim on this car, you are not getting much for it. And it just it, it ruins it. So and not, it, just, not just that, man. When, when it comes down to businesses and their insurance, for someone like this, if the company goes through insurance, their premiums are going up. Premiums are going up. Now they're gonna be paying for this for God knows how many years. And insurance down here in Toronto area. Man. It's already bad enough, but yep. you gotta remember at the end of the day when premiums go up, it cuts profits as well for businesses, right? So it just it it, it, it creates such a big mess. So one thing that we wanna know is have you ever had 
borrow, lend, lend it out your car to your friend, to a family member, or put it on Turo, you know what I mean? Like, okay. and had a bad experience. If you if you have, let us know, let us know in the comments down Bro, below. Ta uh, talking about Turo, think about it. You put your car up on Turo just to make some extra money to pay for your payments. Yeah, or here whatever. and there, you know what I mean? Yeah, right. it helps, it helps. And now something like this happens. What do you do in that case? Man. Well, uh, and especially I think when you're, I, it's like your personal car, you always have that attachment to that car. That, that's true. I think Turo has its own insurance intact, mm -hmm. but uh, other than that, I'm not sure how that goes about uh, working out and stuff like that. Because I'm pretty sure they they try to deal with the client. Yeah. Or whatever but think about it. if what if you were in that position, what would you do? Comment in the section below. Yeah, let us know what you think. Who knows? There might be a little prize for top comment. Yo, don't worry. I'm gonna fix this car. I won't charge you a penny, alright, bro? Why are you Yo, swearing? I got doing for a squawk. Bro, look at that. Hold up, wait, no. Look at that, bro. Have you ever fixed a car before? Bro, look at look at the look at the lineup, man. Don't touch it. Hold Yo, on, hold on, hold on, you, you see the gap? Tommy, I'm doing this for free, alright? Wow, Bobby! Yo, shit, shit, shit. So our sponsor went to the washroom real quick. He he didn't say I could take it, but you know what? Yo, let's put the camera over. <laughs> Yo, I know he said we can't, but let's just take it, don't worry. Yo. It's okay, it's okay, let's take it, let's take it. He's not gonna notice, he's not gonna notice. Let's go, get in the car, let's go. Yo, let's go.